Torrent are the best way to download pig files from the internet. And do you know with few simple hacks you can optimize Torrent exactly the way you want it. Hi, I am Rinal and welcome to RTD Videocast. In this video, we will talk about 5 awesome torrent hacks that will help you to boost your productivity and use torrent the way you want it. I have also made a video on torrent where I have talked about the basic of torrent, what is with torrent, how do you use it. So if you haven't watched it, click here and check it out. And having said that, let's get started. If you're sharing your internet with your friends or family and you would like to keep a close eye on the torrent activity like how much bandwidth are they consuming or what exactly are they downloading or uploading on torrent then this small trick will help you a lot. So what you need to do is open up your torrent and go to option. Here you will see a preference option. You will also press a control P for shortcut and from there go to remote option. So here you will need to check mark, check mark this box which says enable the uTorrent remote access and for after that you will have to enter the computer name and password of your choice and once you are done you can copy this address which says remoteutorrent.com and once you are done click on apply and to save ok now open up your browser I am showing you in my own browser for an example but you can try that on any browser you want and go to the links which says remote.utorrent.com this will work since it's, it's using an internet so it will work on any remote computer even on the local LAN connections so basically this thing was used to check or remotely control your utorrent but you can also use it to spy on your other computers as well but make sure that you don't disturb their privacy or don't intrude into their privacy but because that will be a wrong thing so once it has downloaded the page it will ask for the computer name just enter the computer name and the password that you have previously set and click on login and as you can see from this window it has logged into my desktop session which are exactly same to this one and from here you can start a new download by dragging and dropping the torrent file you can pause the download or you can also delete a file this is also helpful to download your favorite tv shows remotely because you can give the instruction from a remote computer and by the time you are home you can directly go and watch it so that you don't have to waste your time Let's say you are in a situation where you have to share your internet connection with too many people and since you have put a torrent on downloading most of the people are getting angry since you are getting all the bandwidth and to stop that you will have to right click on your downloads and click on the bandwidth allocation and then limit your download speed and at the night when no one is working or no one is using the internet you can go again and remove the download speed so in short this is a very tedious process as you need to do this again and again but there is a simple way to do it using or just telling your uTorrent to do it automatically so to do that just go to your option and under preference you will see an option which says scheduler from here you can tell your uTorrent when to automatically limit the speed or when to start downloading at the full speed so once you click on it it will turn white which says turn off and if you double triple click on it then it will turn to light green like this and you can also configure it to set up on seeding only mode or you can limit and upload rate or download rate from here and once you are done you can click on apply and save changes so in short you can use the scheduler option in the uTorrent and save yourself from doing it manually all the time creating and sharing your own torrent file is very easy and if you don't know let me just show you how to do that so what you need to do is go to the file option and click on the link which says create a new torrent you can also press the shortcut ctrl m and once you are there you will see a new pop up window will open so here in the selected source you will have to enter the path of the file that you want to share the, with the people 
and to do that just click on add file and select the file that you want to upload one thing that you should know is that in torrent it's illegal to share another file that you do, that are copyrighted or that don't belong to you so in this case i have made this picture and i have the copyright of this file so i will just select this picture now next thing is that you will have to upload the trackers you will need to add some trackers so that other people can track your files in your computer to get the trackers simply do a google search with a keyword you torrent trackers or you can also click on the links in the description box below where i will be maintaining the list of trackers so once you have the trackers you can add the comment it's completely optional and make sure that you have check mark on the box which says start seeding because if you don't upload the torrent then nobody will be able to download it and once you are done click on the button which says create give it a name and let me just save it so once it's done you will be seeing that this is cd so what you need to do is right now is that you should have to upload this torrent on any other torrent hosting website so that other people can find it and download it since it's just an example i will open up the window and go to one of my favorite torrent websites you can use any of the torrent website that you like in my case i have a account on this website and i am a regular user of this so i will just log in with my account if you don't have a account previously you can create a free registration and make a free account so as you can see this is what the website look like after you have logged in into your account and you can see there is an up button which says upload and from here click on the genre where you will to upload your file make sure that it suited the right description of your file that you have in my case it was a picture so i will click on wallpaper and then press on this browse button and search for your file and upload it as i was using this for the demonstration purposes i won't be using or i won't be uploading that file to the internet but uh, as you can see you can just browse the button and upload it and then tell the link to your friends so that they will be able to download it and this is how creating a file over bitorrent works let's say you are in a school or in an office and your institution is blocked downloading by a torrent or simply you are the computer that you are using don't provide you with enough privileges to install a new software install a new program like u torrent under such circumstances you can simply use the next step where we will show you how to download torrent without requiring or without the need of the torrent client so let's get started so what you need to do is download the regular torrent file by going into your favorite website and once you get the dot torrent file open up your browser and go to website like zbigz so sites like this lets you download torrent in a direct free from their server so once you see the upload button select the file that you want to download i will select the ubuntu iso file and click on this go button since i won't be using the premium services i will click on the free option it might take some time to process and cache the image from the torrent file to their server so for that i will just pause this video okay so after the processing and caching is over you will see a download button which will come over here click on it and select the free plan and you will see you will get a direct download link of iso file which you can click on save and it will directly download to your desktop and you will be able to download the file without need of any torrent client if you have to move a lot and you would really like to download torrent whenever and wherever possible then this next trip will help you a lot 
you can carry your U torrent inside this pen drive and download wherever and then wherever you go and without even installing U torrent in this pen drive and let me just show you how to do that so just insert your thumb drive inside the computer and this is your thumb drive so what you need to do is just copy down the utorrent.exe which is a normal installation setup file for the utorrent client so you will have to copy down this utorrent and now right click and create a new blank text file and rename this text file as settings dot dat just make sure that you have saved this file as file type of all types let me just open it and save as settings.dat make sure that the save as type is all files and click on save so what we have done is we have moved our utorrent.exe inside that print drive and we have created a new file uh, which is named as settings.dat now every time when you will click on utorrent you will see that it will automatically launch the setup of utorrent without having been installed in their system or not and you can just drag and drop the file inside this utorrent make sure that you are working on any other computer that you want and just change this option of savings to this pen drive and you will be good to go well this is also now to make this video short i was not able to add some other tips and torrent hacks but you can find them on my blog the link is in the description box below and if you think that this video was helpful and valuable to you then do give us a thumbs up because it will help us a lot and you can also subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos tips tricks and daily life hack to stay updated click on the button over here or down there to say subscribe till then this is my nas signing off and like always thanks for watching